so now we are just measuring moisture and we are about to start it has to be under 13 that's at least what the saddles people say maybe 13 and a half I don't know we'll see and I forgot to tell you we fixed the real issue it wasn't anything special no. 13.1 we are ready to go Yesterday we had rain and I was actually expecting this week to be wetter than it actually is so when we started it was about 13 to 13.5 somewhere around then now it's getting under 10 and this combine crushes like all combines crushes better if the wind is dry so check out the sample the sample is pretty clean I'm running the same settings as I was running the other day so I send out spas to check out if we are getting any losses. I think we might be because the wheat is very, very, very clean. And this usually means you either got the settings just right or you are throwing seed all over the place. And there is not a lot left of this field. So when I finish this field, I'm going to harvest another guy's crop. He asked me if I can. You know, the guy that I told you about in the last video, that's how cool fast I was going. That's him, yeah. He has a field nearby and I'm going to harvest it after I'm done with this one. So this thing has a loss sensor that I don't particularly trust. So I set out spots over there to check out what's going on. I never trust sensors about anything. I just don't trust them. I don't trust electronics. This thing has sensors for absolutely everything, but I just don't trust them. I have to check out myself. I'm done with our fields around here and we're going to harvest the wheat of some guy that asked us before. So I'm going to fold the combine, pull out the header. The field is nearby so it's not going to be that far away. We have time, it's about 7 p.m. So at about 9 we should be done. I mean including going to the field and harvesting the field and everything. We should be done in about 2 hours or something like that. We'll see. I forgot to mention how we fixed the Rio in the last video. Basically what ended up happening is there's an electric motor that uh, speeds up and slows down the wheel and it does that by putting in and out a bolt that basically tightens or loosens a belt that controls the real speed. So we took that off, we're gonna put it back in of course, but temporarily we put in a fixed bolt. So now if we want to regulate the speed of the wheel, we have to tighten or loose that, that bolt. Pretty simple, we're gonna fix it, not gonna leave it that way, but just for now. To do our work, you know, we don't really have time for repairs right now. transporting combines. Change of plans, we're not gonna be harvesting that guy's wheat today. It looks like he doesn't have any anywhere to store his wheat, so tomorrow he's gonna make some calls and we're gonna fix that. <laughs> 